Hello and welcome to Crosstown Auto Center's pre-owned superstore. My name's Bailey and today I'm really excited to show you around this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. This is a four-door, unlimited, trail-rated, four-wheel drive Jeep in a firecracker red. And she is beautiful. Underneath the hood, you have the 3.6 liter V6 engine, and that is coupled with a six-speed manual transmission. On the front of the firecracker red Jeep, you have that beautiful seven slotted grill sandwiched in between your uh, daytime running lights and fog lights. And when we look at that front bumper, everything's in great shape. You've got those front tow hooks, additional lights, and a bit of a protectant underneath. I love this red too, by the way. I really enjoy the hood as well. It's very distinct. And then right underneath the fender flares and mud flaps here, we have our 17 inch Goodyear Wrangler um, snow tires. Beautifully shiny, still in great shape. They're sitting on top of a black alloy rim. You have wheel locks, four wheel disc brakes and nitrogen filled tires in all four wheels. And then coming up the side, we have that color matching three piece freedom top, tinted windows. I really like that black gas cap. Oh, and just look at her, she's so nice. But there's some really great features inside and it's starting to get a bit chilly, so why don't you come with me? Helping you into your 2015 Jeep Wrangler, you have this great key with keyless entry and panic button, as well as the CompuStar two-way aftermarket remote starter and keyless entry. So hitting unlock once will unlock your driver's door and twice will unlock all the doors. And helping you in, now on the bottom here, we do have the aftermarket car sidestep. Looking on inside in between your front seats here, we do have those original OEM side steps and we also have a soft top in the back. But I'll show you that in just a few moments. On the inside of the door, we have some power locks as well as a mesh little holder. Our power mirrors and power windows are in the center console. Uh, but what's really cool, in contrast to this really nice firecracker red, we have these really great white inserts on the inside of the vehicle. So on the inside of the door, on the steering wheel, and then looking at, oh, I love these vents. Uh, these vents are really cool because you can turn them, you can move them, flip them, point them wherever you want, and it's surrounded by this really crisp white. Right above that, we have the Alpine stereo system, so it sounds really great in here. All season floor mats on the floor, and then you're gonna be sitting very comfortably with combination seating upholstery for five. There's a lot of great things going on in the seat here. Comfortable leather with the cloth inserts. We have the Sahara uh, embossed on the top there. And your front seats are heated. Your driver's seat has the adju uh, height adjuster there so you can lift yourself up or down depending on your height, I guess. <laughs> and then to get in, I'm just gonna put my foot on the step. And then we also have a handle up here if say your doors or roof are off or you just need a little help getting up. Cool. So let me get nice and comfortable here. I'm just gonna switch the key over to my hands and we're gonna turn on the Jeep. Put the clutch in and turn her on. So we have our tire pressure monitoring, ABS brakes and traction control. Great looking dash as well. So now looking at our uh, EVIC and control centers. Oh, let me just turn down the volume. Uh, we are facing west. It's a chilly minus three out and we have 26,576 kilometers. So you should still have that balance of factory warranty. Just make sure when you're sitting down with your product advisor and the business team, you talk about when the in-service date was, how much warranty is remaining and what extra warranty options we have available. So looking back over on the left hand screen, I'm just gonna be controlling it with these controls on the left hand side of my steering wheel. So when I hit the little north button, it will take me directly to the screen. But when I hit uh, menu, it's gonna take me through my digital speedometer, my average fuel economy, my range till empty, my digital tire pressure monitoring. I really like that you can see each wheel individually, especially if you are gonna be doing any off-roading. Uh, we have a vehicle timer as well as vehicle information. You can change your units of measurements. So for your external thermometer, as well as if you need to, you know, for your digital speedometer, have miles per hour. And then we have some system stuff and some personal settings. And through that, you can actually just go in and just change everything very easily. 
Perfect. And then when we pull out, we are looking at this very nice leather wrap steering wheel. Uh, those are those controls I was just pressing. We do have the voice control and you connect. Oh, she didn't want to say anything right now. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I didn't have the volume up all the way, so I'm gonna press the voice control or the Uconnect phone and it's gonna come up. Ready. Cancel. So I really do like that feature and it, it honestly does work for me every time I just had the volume all the way down because I was playing in it a little bit. Cancel. Perfect. Um, and then looking at this beautiful steering wheel on the right hand side, we have the cruise control settings, but when you wrap your hands all the way around, you actually have the audio controls on the back here that will control your volume. So when we are looking at the touchscreen stereo display, we have our AM, FM and satellite radio. Right now it's just on a preview, so all you have to do is call up the fine folks there and they will help you set it up. We as well have these buttons up here. Oh. Cancel. She sure gave me a run for my money. And then when we click on media, so this is your radio screen here. It'll go through all your different settings. But when we click on media, we actually have a CD player, which I really like how the screen folds down and comes up. On the right hand side, we have uh, auxiliary and USB input. And then this HDD is actually a 28 gigabyte hard drive. So I really like that when we're on my files, uh, you can see what you have in here and you can upload any photos or music that you'd like because the screen's completely um, displayable and changeable. You can actually display any picture that you'd like while you're driving. It's really neat. Um, when we go into the nav screen, we do have the map and it is all voice controlled. We can hide that. Very nice. I really like that touchscreen display center. Coming into the center, we have some more white detailing as well on the handle just over there. Uh, here are your power windows. Below that, we have your power mirrors just on the left-hand side. We have your electronically controlled climate. So this is really nice. We have it set at a comfortable 27 degrees right now. And then these buttons below, we have our heated seats. So two levels of heated seats for both driver and passenger, the traction control button as well as your uh, hazards button. Uh, this button right here will actually turn on and off uh, power outlet. So let's go to that. A little bit more mesh though. We have your four wheel drive system, that six speed manual transmission, e-brake, and then just right here you have that actual 115 volt outlet. So it has the ground, so maybe you forgot your phone charger, maybe you wanna make some toast, uh, you know, plug it in, very easy. And I like that you can turn it on and off. And then just above here, we do have that lockable center console area. I'm just not able to open it because of the side steps that are right here. But we have a lockable center console area as well as the lockable glove box right here. So if you wanna have your top down, you don't have to worry about it. You can keep everything uh, valuable and important just inside here locked up for you. Just looking on the roof real quick, here is that three-piece freedom top. Very easy to unlatch and play with. It's a little bit chilly, so I might not do it right now. And then in the center, this is really cool. Just your uh, extra lights and some speakers. All padded as well around. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And I love all the little Jeep details that are in here with the little Jeepies here and there. The white, oh, I love this vehicle. Well, let's go check out that soft top and I'll show you a little bit more. Coming into the back seat now, these back doors open nice and wide and of course all four doors all come off. We do have back here the rear 60-40 split back bench seat. You will have all the child safety long set and anchors that you'll need and we have the all season floor mats on the floor. But they are all folded down in the moment because right here is your soft top. There are those uh, running boards and then we have the windows just in the boxes there. Very spacious and roomy though back here. Again, you have all this padded um, roll protection up here with all the lights and speakers that you'll need. I like the sound of the doors as they close. Uh, we do have that rear tinted back window with the defrost and the windshield wiper. Full size spare tire on the back as well. And then when I crouch down, I just want to show you underneath rear tow hooks and rear mud flaps. 
Cool, so let's pop in here. We're gonna open this one first, full 90 degrees, nice and wide. Lift up the back window. And right back here, you do have the sub for that Alpine stereo system. Sounds great. Very spacious though. I really like it when you have that full three piece freedom top and then in addition that soft top. This Jeep is really ready for whatever weather you throw at it. So let's just pop right into the passenger seat again. Another stop to help you in. And heated front seats. Beautiful. Well, I just would like to take the time to say thank you so much for walking around this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sahara with me. This firecracker red Jeep is gorgeous and is ready for a new home. So if you have any questions or would like to book a test drive, all you have to do is click or call. We're here at Crosstown Auto Center. We're on the corner of 156th Street and Yellowhead Trail, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.